Alexa, ask Watson, what do you know about me? I understand you live in Honolulu. Alexa, ask Watson, what's the weather forecast? Looking up weather information for Honolulu, partly cloudy, highs in the mid-80s and lows in the mid-70s. Hello, YouTubers. Today I have a developer journey to introduce to you where we'll be building an Alexa skill to allow you to talk to an Alexa-enabled device and run your own uh, backend that you've developed. And what I'm going to show you how to do is have Alexa talk to Watson. So I like to think of it as Alexa will be the face, Watson will be the brains. As usual, these developer journeys have open source code. You can go out to github.com slash IBM slash Alexa skill Watson conversation with dashes. Go ahead and fork the repo. Uh, try out the code. It's, it has step-by-step -step instructions so that you can build your own, and that's really the goal here. I'll try to walk you through some of it in the video, but you'll get a lot more out of it if you try it yourself. So what we're doing is an Alexa skill with Watson Conversation, and it's going to run on OpenWhisk. And if you use the example conversation, you'll be talking to Weather, Weather Channel. So here's how it all fits together. And I think there's a lot going on here, but they're all fairly simple steps. You just build the simple pieces on top of each other, and you, you'll find out you can do a lot with it. So obviously, the user talks to Alexa. And I'll show you how you can register your Alexa skill and test it out. Now, the Alexa skill has to call out to something to you know, find its answer. We're going to call out to IBM Cloud Functions, which is an implementation of OpenWhisk. So with Cloud Functions, you don't need to run your web app server. It's just going to um, run your action on request. So it's very scalable, very efficient. It doesn't need to do anything until someone asks it to. Now, these are stateless functions. So when we want to save state, we're going to use Compose for Redis. Redis is a great database for just caching things, because in our case, we can cache information about the session context, and it will just expire after a set amount of time and clean up after itself. So we've used Redis for that. So once we have that, we'll pass the context into Watson Conversation. This way we can have a dialogue with Watson that goes back and forth. We can say, what do you know about me? it can ask where do you live and when we tell Watson where we live it's going to save that in the context now in the same session when I ask what's the weather it will do its weather data lookup and it won't have to ask me a location again and it's been built so that the assumption is you're asking about your home location and that's just an example conversation but if you use that it's a good example because you can see how we use context to have a, a dialogue that can go back and forth even with the stateless server. You can see how conversation can pass an action back to the app that's driving it. And this is our Node.js app um, running inside Cloud Functions. When it sees this lookup weather request, it will call out to our weather channel data, which happens to be another OpenWhisk function. And then it will return it right back and Alexa will be our voice take all the credit for all our hard work. So let's take a look at some of the pieces that we need to put this thing together. So first what you're going to want to do is you'll clone the repo so that you have the code and the workspace to update for our example. Then we're going to create the, uh, the Watson Conversation workspace and we'll take a quick look at that to show you what I mean by saving context and, and passing it from one part of a dialogue to another which will then call an action. There are some other services to set up and the, the credentials for some of those need to be configured so that the code will know how to call out to those services. Then we just upload the OpenWhisk action and we tell Alexa how to call that from this skill. For the conversation part, if you go into Bluemix, you can create a Watson conversation, but there are a couple different ways you might want to go about this. Um, probably the easiest to get through the example the first time is use the provided workspace.json file. That way you can follow along with the example. But 
you can use that one or you could create your own Watson conversation or you can use the bot asset exchange and from there you can choose from various um, Watson conversations and you can try them out. Remember not all of them will use a save context or use an action and if you have an action, a custom action, you'd want to extend the code to fill that in. So here I am in Watson conversation. I went into the tooling and this is the Alexa sample that uh, is that workspace.json that we uploaded. I just wanted to show you a couple parts of this. We have other journeys that will show you more about how to create conversations. But the two things that are really important uh, or that I'm trying to stress in this example are how we use a context to communicate from one part of a dialogue to another part and also then to return an action to the code to perform some additional action. So we have this, what do you know about me, note in the dialogue. If you look at that, we set that up right now, it just requires one thing. It expects a location, and we'll use the syslocation entity to recognize any recognizable location that you might say for where you live. If it does not have one, it's going to ask you what your location is. You can respond with the city. It will save it in the context here in this dollar location. And once we store that off so that it's maintained in your session, you can continue the dialogue. And then if you come back and you ask about the weather, you could say, what's the forecast? Will it rain? You can ask a lot of different ways. But what that's going to do is it's going to see, does it have a location? So you might have said, what's the weather in Honolulu? And it would have a location. But what it's going to do by default is it's going to take this out of your context and look up the weather for your your home location. Now once it's done this conversation part where it figures out that it has a location it needs to ask the code to look it up and we're doing that with this advanced context. All it has to do is return so here's the text that's returned it's going to say looking up weather information for location but it's also going to return this action called lookup weather and pass a parameter with the dollar location. So we have code that's going to look for that and call the, the weather channel data service to provide a, a real forecast for you. So well, now we've seen our conversation, let's look at the OpenWhisk action that we're going to create. The uh, you know the code is mostly that main.js, but there are also node modules needed to uh, help with some of those open WIS calls, for example, and the Watson SDK also to call out to conversation is a node module. So what we're going to do is we'll do the npm install to get the node modules. We're just going to zip everything up into this action.zip. So basically we're zipping up main.js and the node modules directory. Oh, and a param file. We do this um, OpenWhisk upload. We're using the Bluemix plugin, so that's what the BX is. So Whisk action update, Alexa Watson is what we're calling it. Action.zip is the zip file we just created. It's Node.js 6, and in our case, we really want to make sure we call it this raw web action so that we get that JSON to interact with Alexa. The param file here, this dot params is where I put the credentials. You can also pass parameters right here on the command line um, with just the dash dash params. But I use the dot param file so I can stash username, password, IDs to communicate with conversation and Redis and the weather channel um, without exposing that on the command line. And by the way, if you want to now change this action to use a different conversation, um, you might have a different username and password depending on what service it's in, but certainly you can point to another workstation, workspace ID just by setting this and then re-zip it, upload it again, um, either overwrite the same name or use a new one, and you're off and running with a brand new conversation dialog. Now that we have our cloud function, let's create a skill in Alexa. So this is the new developer console. I'm re-recording part of this video. So first you need to give it a name. I'll call it Watson Weather, and we're going to create a custom skill. So select that and click Create Skill. We'll need to give it an invocation name. 
So I'll call this one Weather Channel. You'll want to give some consideration before you pick your invocation name because people will need to say it and say it clearly. Now we need a custom slot type. So I went down there and I clicked on Add. We're going to call this Bag of Words with underscores and just click Create Custom Slot Type. And you have to give it some value, so we're using Hello World as the value and click on plus to add that. Now that we have our custom slot type, we can create a custom intent. So go up to intents and click add intent. We're going to call this one everything intent. And notice the case we're using and click on create custom intent. For the sample utterance, use curly brackets and specify everything slot. Now it's going to let us create that slot, so we click on Add, and then click the plus sign. Now down at the bottom you see the Everything slot, and we can use the pull down to give it a slot type of bag of words. So that sets up our model to catch everything. Now for the endpoint, we'll use HTTPS, and we need to get the endpoint from IBM Cloud Functions. So if we go in there and go to the endpoints menu, we can copy it. Just paste it in there. Make sure it's an endpoint that ends in .json. And we'll use the certificate with a sub for a subdomain. Now we save the endpoints. And I'll need to go back and save that model. And now we save the model and build the model. This usually only takes a few seconds, maybe a minute. And then we can test our Alexa skill. So now we've built our model and our skill, and we can click on this test tab right here. And we can test it out. You can type in. First you have to enable it. But then you can type or you can use the microphone. I'll just press the microphone and talk. Ask Weather Channel, what do you know about me? I don't know anything about you. Where do you live? Miami. I know you live in Miami. What's the weather forecast? Looking up weather information for Miami. Mostly clear. Lows overnight in the low 70s. Okay, so we successfully created our Alexa skill using Watson Conversation, now known as Watson Assistant. And we're using IBM Cloud Functions. And we're using the Redis database. And we're getting our forecast from the weather company. Now I hope you're able to use this and apply your own test cases to it. Try some other conversations from the Bot Asset Exchange and create some great new things. If you're looking for more code patterns, please check this out on developer.ibm.com slash code slash patterns. This one's called Create an Alexa Skill with Serverless and a Conversation, but you'll find many more code patterns if you go to that site, along with blogs and tech talks. Thank you.